Ayan, good morning everyone. It's a gloomy morning. Napakadilim po na umaga dito sa Cebu ngayon. Napaka maulan. Right? Uh, it's 8.17 in the morning. So we should start. Yeah, namiss nyo ba ako? Namiss ko rin po kayo. Pasensya na. Um, yeah, the problem in Butuan was internet was not that stable. So nahihirapan talaga ako mag-live. Tapos um, some of the locations na pinuntahan namin, wala talagang internet. So really can't monitor the market. Yan. So, yeah, um, during those times, investor lang ako but I wake up in the morning para po sa mga recommendations sa inyo. Kasi pag umaga, uh, madaling araw, doon, may internet kasi walang gaano gumagamit. But when, when, when the network becomes crowded, lahat ng tao nag-internet, wala, wala na. Lo, uh, bumabagal lang internet. So, yun. Um, during those times, it's, it's important for you guys to know na if ever hindi po kayo monitor ng market, be uh, an investor. Right? For example, ako, uh, lumipad ako to Butuan last Friday. Right? Last Friday, binitawan ko na po lahat ng mga trading stocks ko. Right? Trading stocks, even if umaakyat pa siya, if uptrend pa siya at hindi pa bumabagsak, binanta ko na. Why? It's really important that way kasi hindi mo alam kailan babagsak yan. Baka lumubog yan bigla. Tapos yun. Um, take profits na lang kaagad. And wag, don't be greedy. Huwag nyo, wag nyo pong pipilitin mag-trade if ever you cannot watch the market. Let me double check my audio and everything really can monitor yon so that's very good magana na right um today we're going to be talking about my recommendations anjan po sa title natin ngayon uh, ism east west ssi phoenix uh tel vll and maxis vll ayo pang gumalaw eh pero unti-unti na umakyat sa vll have been recommending that for how many days ang ganda ng support ni vll very solid support so we need to test that out si maxis din ang pullback na we'll talk more about that if you're just watching the replay of the video, kindly move forward to around um, mga 25 minutes. That's where we will be starting our, what they call this, our um, discussion. Now, before that, kindly po, um, <laughs> I miss you all guys. Right, can, kindly po, share the video. share po ang video sa Facebook walls ninyo, tsaka sa mga trading groups po ninyo. So that the newbies out there um, will know about the program. Ayan. So, konti lang viewers natin yan kasi kakabalik ko lang eh. Baka, um, excuse me, baka na wala nang gana yung iba kasi hindi ko, hindi ako nakapag-live for how many days. But anyway, still, um, we're, we're aren't, uh, uh, we aren't after the viewers, we're after the lessons. Kahit isa lang na tao na matulungan natin. I'm happy with that. Yeah. So today I'm gonna be discussing the charts of the recommendations that I have for you. Yeah. And welcome back, welcome back. And yeah. first up, I'm gonna be reading the comments. Uh, Kassel, John Visay, welcome back, sir. Thank you so much. Good morning, pasuyo po ng RRHI, SCC, Tel, AG, and si Tel uh, ni recommend ko yan. Si SCC na hirapan talaga ako magrecommend kay SCC kasi in third quarter numbers niya ang pangit eh. Uh, that's the thing I'm afraid of. Kasi ako, pag nag-trade ako, I have this bias with fundamentals and numbers talaga. Right? So, usually, um, if ever may nakikita ko magandang numbers and it's backed up by technical uh, analysis, yon. usually, mas gusto ko yung trade na yon. And, hope, somehow, it's working for me. Si SEC, ang pangit ng third quarter earnings kasi. Kaya, ayaw, uh, nahihirapan ako mag-recommend sa kanya. But now, we'll check the chart of SEC. Alright, welcome back from Hops. Thank you so much. Chart request po, IRC and SEC po. Ayan, sulat natin yan. Si, I, si SEC and dyan na. Let's check out IRC. Joel Ligares, good morning. Ayan, pasensya na guys. Ha? Hindi ako nakapag-live for how many days. Alright, Joel Ligares, good morning. Mihi, haha, ISM muna. Uh, let's keep it clean. Walang tae dito. Alright, let's keep it clean, Mihi. Alright, ISM is in my recommendations today. Number one yan. Alright, kasi ang ganda na ng support ni ISM. Is very solid support already. So, we will be there while it's at support still. We'll talk more about the chart of ISM later. Addison C. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning there. You're back na, Sir. Alright, eh, from El Razo. <laughs> Good morning. Namiss ka namin. Namiss ko rin po kayo. Alright. Ralph JVR, good morning sir. Insights on PIP, FLI, and DD. Thank you. 
si Didi nagdadalawang isip ako ilagay sa lista ko ngayon eh. So, but I wanted my list to be really short. So, I had to choose the best companies I can find. Um, si FLI, ang ganda rin ng support eh. Si Didi rin, ang ganda ng price action. Um, if I can make my list longer, kasama dyan si Didi. I'll explain to you later. Nasulat natin si Didi. Let's check out the chart of Didi in a while. Jerome, good morning. Welcome back. Coach Lloyd, thank you so much. L Razo, F Gen, EW po. EW is in my list today. Si F Gen, medyo mataas na F Gen eh. So, I'll ch- we'll check out still F Gen, right? Rogelio, Junior Garcia. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Ang haba at ng Xmas party mo. <laughs> nice to be back, yeah. I was able to travel around Mindanao. Ang ganda po ng Mindanao, guys. Tell you, it's very nice. So, nga pala, thank you for, um, sa, um, Inkbox, uh, they invited me there, right? Um, I was their guest speaker for their Christmas party, right? We were able to teach, right? Uh, we were able to teach many Filipinos there how to handle their funds, right? Um, biggest lesson there is you don't have, uh, in, in, you don't have to look for bigger na sweldo to be really, uh, to be really successful, to re- to be really, uh, to really reach reach your f- uh, financial goals, right? It's about handling your money. So we thought, uh, we thought the uh, the the people in Ink- Inkbox about that, and we introduced to them uh, insurance and stock market, especially stock markets. That's where I specialize in. Chaka insurance then, right? And good morning to our um sa family ng host ko dyan, sa si- uh, sa Mindanao from Butuan, the Mabato family. Good morning po sa inyo. It was a very uh, memorable stay there. Ang sa, ang ganda po ng stay ko dyan sa uh, sa ano sa um, sa Butuan, sa Mindanao overall because of them. Thank you so much, Mabato family and Reggie. Yon. So um yon. Uh, let me go back to my what they call this to my. Uh, Chats, yon. Lolita Rulio, the morning sir, Lloydy, Ali, SMPH, and Bloom, please. Thank you po. Alright, let's check these out. Right. Uh, Boss Lloyd, pakisuyo naman si MRC from Break the Cycle. Alright, let's check out MRC. Si MRC ang hirap, ang hirap habulin ng price action niya. I'm recommending MRC for investors. Ang ganda ng mga movements ni SMRC ngayon. Slowly but surely si MRC umakyat. So, just be an investor, right? Mag-investor lang kay kay MRC. Hirap i-ano for trading eh. But, we'll check out the chart in a while. Claire Manzano, good morning, sir. ISM po. Uh, um, number one yan sa list natin yan, Claire. Alright. Jimmy, Jimmy, tuloy. Jimmy Villaflor, good morning from Korea. Ano nga sa'yo? Anong pong catalyst sa EW and uh, risk to reward ratio? Right. Um, Ang EW naman, let's check out EW. Bakit ko nire-recommend si EW? Wala naman siyang catalyst. That, not that I know of. It's just that I'm basing out it on the price action and volume yesterday. Nakaka-breakout niya lang. Right? Nag-breakout si EW. Let me show my chart. Here we go. Ayan. So, EW, breakout strategy tayo for EW. The volume, I love the volume. So, um, message gusto ko yung galaw ni EW. Kaya linagay ko rin siya sa list ko ngayon. You can use a breakout strategy. Um, nagdadalawang isip pa rin ako sa breakout strategies kasi wala pa rin tayo mga foreign investors. So, you may want or may not oh, choose not to use this. Right? Um, Siyempre, I don't like uh, I don't like breakout strategies but the volume is very tempting. So, yeah. we, we There is uh, opportunity in this especially in position trades. Pwede nyo pong positionan yan. Uh, use a breakout strategy for east-west. Anyways, overall si east-west napakamura pa rin at 12.40. Look at that chart. Napakamura po ni east-west ngayon. Alright, so east-west is one in one of my recommendations for today. Alright, we'll talk more about that in a while. Uh, hirap sabihin ng uh, risk to reward ratio nito eh kasi breakout strategy. Eh. We can use the n- uh, next direct resistance that we can see which is this one right here. So, if we check our risk to reward ratio, right? Very good question. Uh, one of my lessons is risk to reward ratio. You have to check this out every now and then. So, your risk is around 3.5% and one one is 41. Medyo mahirap ang risk to reward ratio nito, right? So, it's up to you if you want to check this out, if you want to test out the out uh the breakout levels niya. It's just because of the volume kay gusto ko siya. That's why I'm recommending it. 
Uh, I don't really consider this resistance because this was during the bearish market, this ver very bearish move. So I'm not really considering this resistance right here. Um, I'm just gonna be testing this out if ever papasok ako nito for east up east west. Right, but very good question, right? Um, if ever it doesn't fall to your uh, risk to reward ratio, wag nyo pong papasukin, right? Um, if hindi kayo comfortable dyan. Kasi ako, um, minsan kasi nahahalo ko yung pagka-aggressive ko sa mga recommendations. Okay. Right. Roland Hamela, good morning Sir Lloyd, welcome back. Um, B Core, SCC, Alco, let's check these out. Ay, si Alco, ang ganda na na eh, di ba? Remember, checking out Al we were checking out Alco a few weeks ago, nung andito pa siya. Ang daming buy signal ni Alco na binigay sa atin, di ba? Number one, um, divergence, uh, prices were going down, uh, but the uh, RSI is going up. So, these were the buy signals that we got from Alco. Yan. And Jan. Number two, engulfing pattern for Bollinger Bands. Diba? Um, isa yun sa mga tinuturo ko po sa inyo. Right? We have an engulfing pattern here. Stabilization. And that's the buy. We have a higher low right there. Price action wise. Ang ganda. Right? Nag-stabilize sa MA20. Look at that. MA20 stabilization. And we could have used MA20 as our entry. If hindi pa tayo pumasok dito. Right, there it is. And daming buy signal ni Alco. Now, Alco has been winning a lot. So, if good job sa mga nag, uh, what do you call this? Sa mga pumasok dyan kay Alco with these buy signals. Right? It's really hard to tell these things. Uh, especially ito, negative 38 yung third quarter nila. So, we weren't, we really can't, uh, we really can't, uh, we really can't, uh, what do you call this? Hindi natin pwedeng i-undermine ang price action just because of the numbers that it is giving us. At the end of the day, it's the price action that will tell us if the stock is gonna move or not. Um, we were discussing about this kay X the past few days. Look at this, right? We may nag-discuss nag tayo kay X, di ba? Uh, we were talking about X. Pangit ang numbers ni X. Grabe ang pangit. Negative 219%. Right? Uh, negative 219%, negative 227% sa second quarter. So, two quarters na lalaki na negatives. Diba? But, then again, we saw this divergence right here. So, price action pa rin, right? Price action. We have a higher low right here. So, na that's an uptrend. And there it is. We can never underestimate the price action just because of the numbers that we are seeing. Right at the end of the day, it's the price action that's telling us where the price is going. So what the what the what they call this? What the buyers and sellers are doing that's that's gonna dictate the direction of the price. And during this time, gumaganda na ang volume. And there it is. If ever we were able to get in that divergence, ganda na sana ng panalo natin. Right, forty-seven percent already KX, de ba? So we. Especially for trading, yeah, you don't really have to look at the fundamentals. It's just that I have bias in these, so pwede naman kayo maging aggressive. Look at the price action lang, price action po ang pwede nyo gamitin for that. Um, asa na ako? Um, welcome back, Sir Lloyd from Jan and Angel Ekano. Good morning. Uh, any insights and technicals, fundamentals on SEC? SEC maganda naman siyang company. Eh. <clears throat> it's just that third quarter earnings of SEC. Uh, is very negative laki na negative na third quarter earnings na SEC that's what I am concerned about um, second quarter nag positive naman siya this is what I am concerned about kaya nagdadalawang isip ako mag recommend ka talaga kay SEC at this support right here umangit, umakit naman siya but then again after that nag fail na ng support we have a good uh, bounce right here um, but I really don't want to recommend this but price action wise Ganda naman. We have a divergence right here. Right? Ang ganda na divergence ni SEC. Eh. So, maybe this bottom is gonna be much better. Um, ang gusto ko na lang gawin ninyo is really, if you wanna get in SEC, wait for it to break this downtrend muna because we're on a downtrend as of the moment. So, let's let's wait for it to break that downtrend before you really wanna get in. Just for confirmation. Right? For SEC. Um... Hasel John Visay, good morning sir. Pasuyo din po ng Pure Gold. Si Pure Gold, sinulat ko kanina sa lista ko. Ang ganda ng price action ni Pure Gold. I really wanted my list to be short. So, Pure Gold is still a good buy. I'm gonna write these down. Pure Gold, MPI, Meg, and AC. Right, ito yung mga gusto mo. Right, Ralph JVR, bagsak po 
to a new low US market, maka-affect ito sa atin. Protect gains na po ba sa may hawak ng blue chips? Um, I would say, take your, take your profits if ever you see a weakness, right, for the markets kasi it's the December months, malapit ang holidays and during holidays, magta-take profits yung mga tao na yan para may magamit during the holidays. So, yeah, I would recommend, yes, uh, mag-take profits kayo. The market is still very slow. Right? Ang bagal pa rin ng market kahit na ang ganda na akit kahapon. Wala pa rin yung foreign buying. So, we can't really say na aakit na tayo. Right? So, I strongly recommend stay light pa rin. If ever you see sell signals, sell. Right? Huwag yung magsa-sell kung wala pa sell signal. But if you see a sell signal, yes, please do sell. Brilliant Encore, good morning. Um, Sir Lloyd Laika and everyone, B-Core. Yan, good morning to my daughter nga pala si Laika baka pagalitan ako noon. Or at least nakabawi ako. Right? Brilliant Anko, good morning Sir Lloyd Laika and everyone Bicor X si Bicor unstoppable. Eh. Bicor X Alco and Fen please let's check these out. Si X we just checked out X kanina. Shadow mataas din si X. Wag niyo na pong hahabulin yan. Louis Vincent Luis Vincent Salvador. Yan, good morning Sir Lloyd. Pwede pa ba humabol kay JFC? Thanks for. Uy, si JFC ni recommend ko yan a few days ago. Um, overall, maganda pa rin naman si JFC. JFC, yeah, right? We'll check out JFC in a while. Full like, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Welcome back. Welcome back. And thank you. Right? Sab sabihin ko sana, welcome back then. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you, Mabel Hat San Jose. Welcome back, Sir Lloyd. PI people, please. Thank you so much. Right? Alright, these down. PIP. And may nagtanong na about PIP. Right? Um, asa na yun? Bumagsak bigla yung mga comments. It's 8.33 time check. So, we're still good. Alright, good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. Uh, Meg from Rosana Reyes. Meg and IRC, please. Let's check out Meg. Si IRC, nasulat na natin yan. So, hopefully, uh, daanan pa natin. Raquel, Nesesito. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. We miss you. We miss you too. Alright, Armand Tanglao. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Rainer Edward Juliesa. Sir, okay ba pasukin sa GMA7? GMA7 overall is a fundamentally good company. Alright, GMA7. Alright, ang ganda naman eh. It's one of the best na mga magbigay ng dividends, right? Kaka-breakout lang yung GMA7. So, yeah, you can check that out, right? Um, sige, unahin nalang natin ito. Natignan ko na eh. Right, um, right, GMA7, right, guys? Yan, kaka-breakout lang. This was an ascending triangle for G GMA7. There is the ascending triangle right there. From here to here. Yan, we had as an ascending triangle and nag-breakout na at last si GMA7. That's a good entry point. That should be a good support for you if you, you wanna test out GMA7. Malit lang negative niya sa third quarter, so that's not very important. Second quarter, maganda yun, naman yung numbers niya. So GMA7, yeah, you can use a breakout strategy if you wanna enter GMA7. Napaka low risk niyan. At least you have a base. Ang ganda na ng uptrend niyan. Right? So GMA7 is good. Good find, right? If you wanna get in GM, GMA7. Right? So let me go back. Yan. Sir Lloyd, welcome back from Arjun Mendoza. Good morning. ISM po, sir. Three line strike pattern po ba? Right, si ISM will talk about that in a while. Jerem Gamboa, Jerry Sir Lloyd, si Jerry din. Pag-usapan natin. Nag-pullback si Jerry. I think it's forming a support already. Um, JM Tolete, good morning. X Vita, SSI. Yan, SSI nasa list ko ngayon si SSI. So, we'll talk about that. IMI, ganda rin ni IMI yung galaw eh, diba? So, let's check these out kung badaanan natin yung iba. Right? Right, uh, from GM Tolete. Good morning. Gerald Aris, good morning po. Sa tama po kaya ipit ako ngayon sa MRC. 6.62 ko nabili. X sa 2.26. MRC, I will strongly recommend mag-average mag down lang kayo kay MRC. Right? It's a good company still overall. 0.62 ka bumili, right? 0.62. If you're, ayan, if hindi ka nag-cut loss, that means you're an investor. Dapat nag-average down ka dito sa baba. Alright? So, right now, if you cannot average down, yet, I have a video about how to, uh, how to recover, right? Pa anong gagawin sa mga ipit na mga stocks ninyo? This is a very good move for MRC, right? If you see a uh, strong pullback um, later on, pwede ka mag-sell 20 to 30%. Um, on this area right here, sell 20 to 30%. And then, if it pulls back down, just buy more using that money. Ganun lang. As much as possible, sana nag-average uh, nag down ka dito. Ang ganda ng price action at this point. 
Overall, MRC is still very good. Very good as a company. Ganda ng mga projects ni MRC. Alright, si X naman. 2.26 ka na ipit. Alright, uh, ayan, taas. Alright, 2.26. Alright, 22.26. Alright, it's in a good rally right now. Alright, noong, this was the best avenue to average down. Same pa rin, if hindi kayo mag-average down, do that strategy pa rin. Excuse me muna, guys. Right, sorry about that. Um, yun, KX. Ah, uh, Sen M's. Good morning, coach. Okay po ba si GSMI? Actually, nag-recommend ako kay GSMI pa the past days. Ah, can't remember when. But I think that was last week. Yeah, okay naman siya. Very good. Very good movement for GSMI still. Right, kaso nga lang, we have an ascending triangle right here. We have a strong resistance. We need to break this resistance to that so that we can confirm the bullish move of GSMI. So, wait for the breakout lang kay GSMI before you wanna get in GSMI. Ang ganda na, lakas na resistance na ito. Right? So, wait for the breakout lang for GSMI. Now, Veronica Tabusares, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning then, John Paul Antolin. Welcome back, Sir. Thank you so much. Uh, Mon F, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Watching from Seoul, uh, Seoul, Korea. It is zero degrees Celsius here. Oh, lamig dyan na. <laughs> right? Um, Mag-stock market kayo para ma-stress kayo at Pum, uh, uminit ang katawan ninyo. <laughs> Jeter Calope, right? welcome back, sir. Meg SSI CHP, please. Uh, let's check these out. Si Meg nasulat na yan. Si CHP hindi pa. Sulat natin si CHP. Ayan. So, CHP na maraming naipit. Siento por siento. Good morning, sir Lloyd. Please check my picks. I am I. Tag si Tugs din. Sinusulat ko kanina. Kaso nga lang, I really had to make my list short. So, tinanggal ko muna si Tugs. But yeah, I'm seeing buy signals kay Tugs. So, let's check these out. Si Sec B, X, and SMC. Alright, we'll check these out. Sulat natin yan. Sir, bakit sell pa din si, uh, sell pa din si CS, CLSA sa ISM? Alright, kung sell pa rin sila, that means na baka natagalan sila sa developments. Right, we can't really tell. Right, what is happening? But so far, so good naman ang price action. Baka nagbabawas lang sila. Right? Um, kasi pag ganyan, malaki ang pera mo at hindi gumagalaw ang stock mo, it would be best na magbawas ka na lang muna. Right? Kaysa mas ang laki ng pera na matutulog sa'yo. Right? So, really, it's really about this card. Eh, right? Um, kasi pag ikaw, broker ka, hindi naman sa lahat ng pera mo, lalagay mo sa investing. Right? Magbebenta ka rin right, for, for trading. And then, somehow, Maybe they think that their money and laki ng pera na linagay nila dyan natutulog, right? Maganda if magbawas and then just add more pag uptrend na, right? Axel Rapunzel, VLL po. VLL is in one of my picks today. Joe Vitanel. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. IRC, IDC, tags. Yan, si IDC, IRC, tags. Ayan, nasulat na natin yan lahat. Um, let's check these out, right? It's 8.40 in the morning. So, yan. Uh, we'll go to your... Uh, requests na and to my picks lang muna, right? Welcome back, sir. Good morning po watching from San Carlos City, Negros. Good morning sa inyo dyan. Uh, this is from Gerald Aris. Alan L., welcome. Thank you. Uh, Christopher Halbuena. Good morning. Good to be back, sir. Let's go study, learn, and grow rich. See you in Makati soon. O nga pala, guys. See you in Makati. December 29. Huwag nyo po sasayangin ang opportunity na yan. May nag-sponsor po sa atin si to trade Asia for that seminar. It's a very good investment, especially kung gusto niyo po magsimula sa trading. You wanna you wanna learn it, uh, you wanna tr uh, start it properly. And I tell you guys, if meron akong gusto ng ulitin sa history ko when it comes to stock market, is mag-enroll ako sa mga seminars like these. Right? That's one of the reason I created the seminar because I wished there was a seminar like seminar like this when I started. Kaso nga lang, when I started in stock market, napakamahal po na mga seminars noon sa trading. That's why I wanted to break that pattern. I want really to make this uh, available for everyone. Ayan. Sa Manila po, December 29, Makati, huwag niyo po sasayangin. Cut that learning curve. Right? Pwede naman kayo matuto ng trading on your own. But remember, the learning curve, ang oras na ikugugol ninyo sa paggagawa ng system ninyo and the losses that you will be incurring along the way. Right? So, yun yung dapat is between you. That will happen. So, instead of losing your money and wasting time, 
right? Bullish na market, take advantage of it. Like so many of my students was taking advantage of it already. Join the seminar on December 29. Send me a message po on um, if you if you're interested, so I can give you the details. See you there, right? That's spot that is sponsored by Two Trade Asia, Two Trade Asia dot com. Ang mga dadalo sa Two Trade Asia sa seminar na yan, may promo si Two Trade Asia. Instead, ang opening kasi ng account kay Two Trade Asia is twenty five thousand. You can open an account for just five thousand and can try their Prime out. Yeah, yung Prime platform nila ang ganda. You can test it out for a month for free. And should you want to continue onwards, it's up. It's up to you, right? At least ma testing yung man lang. Right? Don't miss that opportunity. Ang ganda po ng platform ng Two Trade Asia, especially sa mga casual traders yung laging lumalabas or medyo busy at the same time gusto magtrade, right? Ang ganda. Mag, may, may may mobile app sila na magamit yung on the trading. Right, so yan, ambush uh, ambo book sir, yes, kompleto na araw ko. Welcome back sir Lloyd. Thank you so much, right? Right, so ATN SSI IMI sulat ko sa si ATN. Then anyway, hindi ko nakamusta sa si ATN. Hindi ko laging nakakamusta sa si ATN kasi investor po kasi ako diyan. But let's check out ATN in a while. But before that, I want to go to my uh picks for today. Number one, si ISM. Let's check out the chart of ISM. Bakit ko po siya nire for today? Let me just zoom in. Right, so we have one, two, three, yeah, and we have good price action for ISM. Buying is going up. Very good price action for ISM. So, bodega as much as you can dito sa support na ito. Right, hindi ko naman sinasabi na lilipad yan kaagad. But this is a very good triangle formation of ISM. Once this is broken, right, most probably that will be uh, that will be a what they call this. That will be a good trend for ISM. I can't say if it's gonna be mark making a trend in the future. Ang recommendation ko lang po talaga kay ISM is be an investor. If you're a trader, this is the best entry for ISM. You can test that out while hindi pa siya magalaw. Ang hirap na um, sa kaya nito if magalaw na siya. So while it's here, nasa support, you can do test buys already for ISM. Just in case it goes up. At least nakasakay na kayo and just add more pag uptrend na siya. Right? Um, that's for ISM. That's the best entry point as of the moment na makikita nyo po kay ISM. If nagahanap kayo ng entry point, that's it. Right? East, east, east West, uh, breakout strategy for East West. Right? Kung gusto nyo po ang breakouts for this company, ang ganda kasi ng volume. Yeah, East West is good. Right? Just use a breakout strategy. Next is SSI. And si SSI, I'm recommending SSI for today. Bakit? Pababa yung presyo. Let me just transfer, uh, transform, um, transform this to line. Right. So here it is. Um, prices are sideways. This is a uh, RSI is already starting to go up. We have a confirmation bounce for uh, SSI. So pwede na natin pasukin yan. We can test out this support should we want to. Right. So, pwede natin natin test yung support na yan for SSI. There it is. We have a we we have a strong support right here. Let me let me use a horizontal line. Ayan. We have a strong support right here. Overall, napakalit pa rin ang risk ninyo. Right? Medyo mataas na pala. Right? So, try to bargain for a bit for SSI. Sayang. Ito yung best entry kahapon eh. Right? Try to bargain for a bit for SSI. Around this level, 2.35. Should you wanna get in. Right, but this is a good price action for SSI. Right, anytime soon, baka lumipad na si SSI. Right, so SSI. Next is Phoenix PNX. Right, anytime soon, mag magka-cancel to si Phoenix. Eh. There's something up with Phoenix, especially na sila Dennis Uy makukuha for the, ano, for the, uh, they're, they're gonna be, uh, sana matuloy yun. They're gonna be the ones doing the drilling in the West Philippine Sea. Right, um, sila yung makakuha ng project and number one na makakapag uh, makaka benefit dyan is Phoenix right so Phoenix while it's cheap right let's test test these out already right baka may mangyari kay Phoenix Na third quarter yung laki ng, ng negative eh. so get in the support as much as you can um, for Phoenix right there's something up with Phoenix ang laki ng volume the other day right meron lang tayong resistance dito if you wanna be sure you can use a breakout strategy for Phoenix should you wanna get in right so that's for Phoenix um, Tel ito si Tel maganda si Tel 
Great. Um, divergence. Very good divergence here at this area. Sorry. I have a good divergence here. Uh, RSI is starting to go up already. So that's very good for the company. Right. We have confirmation bounces. So we can test that out. Pwede nyo na po test it tell. If you want to try trading, test out your technical analysis on blue chips. Ito isa sa pwede nyo pong testing si tell. Right? And your execution, uh, try nyo po dyan. Next is VLL. Right? So VLL, one of the good companies out there. Nagsimula nang gumalaw si VLL. Ilang araw ko po yan nire-recommend at this support because this is a very solid support. If you really love to trade, you should uh, you should not have missed this. Right? Si VLL, ilang araw ko na po yan nire-recommend. Ang ganda ng uh, support na yan. Ang ganda ng divergence na ginagawa ni VLL. Right? And then it's starting to move already, right? In trading, kasi ganito guys, I wanna teach you this. Ang ang problema kasi sa mga newbies, one they when they wanna get in a stock, gusto nila na gagalaw ka agad. Trading doesn't work like that. If gumalaw man ka agad yan, then swerte mo na yon. The best entry points are on this stealth phase. No invisible pa siya, hindi pa siya nakikita ng mga tao. Dito nyo dapat pinapasok yan, right? Wag yung maakyat na dan sa sabayan niyo. Right. This is the best entry points when you want to uh, do trading right here. Sorry about that. Right. Etong support na ito, very good support. You shouldn't miss this. Right. Ang ganda niyan. If you want to do trading, this is the best support you can find for a good company. Right. Um, positive numbers. Ang ganda ng company. Very cheap as of the moment. Right. Ang ganda ng price action yan. Right. Na, mas mura pa siya noon sa simula niya uh, around 2017, October. Right? Napakamura na ni VLL for a very good company. This is good. Dapat hindi nyo po na miss ito. Huwag nyo pong papasukin isang company habang lumilipad na. Dapat pinapasok nyo yan on this face of the company where it's consolidating. This is a very good double bottom area. Ganda ng bottoms na yan. One, two, right? So that's good area to start with. VLL. If you're a trader, dapat ito yung pinapasukan ninyo. Right? VLL and Maxis. Si Maxis, we talked about this uh, dito pala sa baba. Right? We were talking about Maxis and there it is. Nag-breakout na. That's our entry point. Diba? We were talking about Maxis. Gusto ko mag-breakout si Maxis on here. Just for a good confirmation, we have a higher low right here. Where we, I thought it was gonna break out and it did break out from the resistance. And then we did recommend that Ayan na. And then, kaya ayaw kong habulin nyo sa taas. Let it do a pullback. This is what I always tell you. Wait for your entry point. And there it is, your entry point. Look at that. Nag-pullback dito. Made that support 1, 2, 3, 4 times. And we have a confirmation green bounce for Maxis. That is our entry point now. Ang ganda ng position na ito kay Maxis. Right? That's your entry point for Maxis get in while your risk is very small. We have our support right here. You can use MA20 as your secondary support for Maxis. Maxis, pasukin niyo po yan. Sa yung position, right? I'm gonna go now to your, what do you call this? Um, To your request. Oh, nga pala, before that, I wanna share to you this opportunity sa mga hindi pa nakakaalam about eToro. Um, may link ako po dyan sa baba sa, uh, sa ano ko sa what they call this then sa um, video description there's an eToro link there please use that create an eToro account this is a good avenue to uh, diversify ang ganda po ng eToro you can invest in foreign markets right now I'm invested in gold the good thing about here is if you don't know how to trade you can copy trade you can copy trade me I'm already earning for this month pero hindi lang po ako pwede nyo i-copy trade dito ang dami po magagandang tao dito, magagaling na tao mag-trade. Pwede nyo po yan. Like this guy right here, 12% returns for the last 12 months. That's a good investment kaysa sa banko nyo po ilalagay. Diba? Kopyahin nyo lang po ito siya. Right? Ang dami niyang copiers. 3,000 copiers. Right? 480. These are people you can copy. Right? Sa, para sila na po ang mag-trade para sa inyo. Sa so, mga hindi po marunong mag-trade talaga at walang oras mag-trade, check out etoro at etoro.com um, please use the link that I have. Libre lang po gumawa ng account. You will be getting uh, virtual funds. J to go to your virtual funds, just go here, virtual portfolio. And then you will be given 100,000 USD para 
pwede nyo pong e-testing. Right? Virtual funds nga lang yun. Hindi, po, hindi nyo po real money yan. But at least matest nyo po mag copy trade or mag trade on yourself if you want to. Right? right now, I'm invested in gold and it's already starting to earn. Napakalit pa lang na earnings so hindi ko pa muna binibenta. Right? Check out eToro. Ganda ng platform na yan for investors. Right? I'll go now to your requests. Yan. Before that, let me see if you have any questions. Uh, may makita tayo mga gandang questions na we can answer along the way. AC, correct sir. Dami talaga natutulan sa'yo sir. You're welcome. Alright, GGS. Good morning po. GGS po, salamat. Misa Miss Occidental Traders. Yeah, let's check out GGS in a while. Uh, that's why price holds at 2.08. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Price of IMI and ISM, please. Nga pala, STV Trader. Alright, um, STV Traders asking kung ano yung opening price of IMI and ISM. Pwede po ma-check ma ninyo. Right? Um, Pakicheck po uh, yung opening price and post po dito. Alright. Um, Dutch bought more than 5 million shares around 2.28 kay SSI. That's very good. Right? I didn't know that. Hindi po ako nakapag-monitor ng market. Eh. Right? Boss Lloyd, walas ka dito sa Tacloban. Late. Hopefully next year. Right? Mag magpa-plano po tayo dyan. Right? Two days po kayo di naka daily grind na dala, na dala sa Miss You Fever. <laughs> Nga eh. right. Good morning sir, we miss you Kala ka po nag-abroad ka na Welcome back, H2O, change the name uh, Ng name, but di lumipad Actually, lumipad na si B H2O eh. right. um, H2O Di ba lumipad na si H2O? Ayan, ang taas na kaya ni H2O From this point to there right. Here it is, from here to here That's a high fly already That's 60% Right, iba kasi yung market natin ngayon, right? Um, I think I understand why you uh, what you are asking. Bakit hindi lumipad na nag-change na ang name? Right? Dito kasi sa Philippines, ang stock market is buy the rumor, right? Buy on rumor, sell on news. Sell on news are usually ang nangyayari. And you don't expect for stock pra you first stock to really go up right away. All you can do is really um, position and then swerte na natin of lumipad yan or hindi. Tulad ni Tugo. Si Tugo mas, mas nag-sealing pa. Right? It's a bearish market still. I consider this a bearish market kahit paakit ng market. It's because foreign buyers are not yet here. They're the ones who can really move the market. Right? Napakalit pa rin ng foreign buying natin ngayon. Minsan natatalo pa ng foreign selling. ba? Diba? Ang nasa market ngayon are mga Jupiteros. Right? Ang Jupiteros, pag nag-news na yan, wala na. Tapos na. It's time to take profits. Right? So, hindi nila papasukin yan. Right? Like, for example, si ISM. Bakit hindi gumagalaw si ISM? Kasi nakapag-Jupit na sila and it's already doing its normal move already. The Jupiteros will go to the stocks na hindi nga anong maraming nakatingin. Right? Kasi doon, mas magaling, mas mad maganda gumalaw. ECP, pinagalaw nila. Um, si Tugo, gumalaw, gumalaw. Right? Mas maliit na news, pero gusto nila doon. Kasi maraming tao na gusto sumasakay sa mga ganito. Right? The speculatives have more uh, have more money on a bearish market. Right? So, yung mga blue chips, hindi gaanong, wala gaanong pera for them yan. Right? Doon nila, pa, yun, yung iba yung pagagalawin nila. Kasi andun sa mga speculatives ang maraming pera. Right? So, yun. Um, konti hindi pa gumagalaw yan kasi konti pa ang investors. Right? It's still a bearish market. Wala pa rin foreign buying as of hanggang, hanggang ngayon. Food pala, sir. Let's check that out. Good morning po, sir. Ano, ano po po specific platform gamit ninyo? Bago lang po ako sa channel. Thanks for educating us po and God bless. This is from Mark. Ayan. Um, ang, etong tool na ito for charting, ang ginag ginagamit ko ngayon is uh, what do you call this? Um, chart.pse.tools right si PSE tools ang gamit ko na but dapat sinasponsor ako ng mga ito eh <laughs> right so yeah yan chart na ginagamit ko si PSE tools you can use investagrams also mabilis din naman sila um, platform for trading I use 2 Trade Asia and Timson sila pong dalawa ang main na ginagamit ko ngayon meron pa rin akong call financial for the research purposes napaka priceless po ng research ni call but I use my call really mainly for investing but ginawan ko po ng public port linagyan ko po ng trading ang call ko just to just every now and then kung may magtatanong nang hihingi ng port ko eh, that's the one I show right Sammy Meneses good morning Sir Lloyd 5.30am here in the Republic of Maldives uy sana makapunta ako dyan sa Maldives I love the ocean SMPH SMC MPI SMH2O oh, thanks right dadaanan natin yan we'll, we'll go now to your requested charts Number one is RRHI. Magtatan nagtatanong about RRHI. Ayan. Si RRHI is hitting a resistance 
already. So, konting ingat muna sa ganito mga positions, right? Um, huwag niyo po habulin yan. Better if it will do a retracement. But right now, it's doing a flag pattern. So, hopefully, mag-breakout yan sa flag pattern niya. So, if ever gusto niyo po humabol dito, I strongly recommend wait for it to pull back dito sa MA20. Right? Dito sa MA20 niya. Or, does a breakout. Antay niyo po yung breakout. At least may base po kayo dyan pag pumasok kayo dyan. Right? Antay niyo po yung breakout. If ever gusto niyo pumasok kay RHI. Next is SCC. Ito. We'll, we talked about SCC earlier. Right? Maganda yung bounce sa SCC. We have a divergence right here. But we're working against a downtrend. Um, uh, yung ayoko dito is we are we are seeing a bad third quarter number. For SCC, kaya ayaw ko po i-recommend ito eh. But price action-wise, antayin po natin yung uptrend niya. Hopefully, on its uptrend, magtuloy-tuloy um, siya. That's, that will be the best confirmation to get in SCC. Delikado ang mga ganito mga positions eh. Kasi yung pangit ng third quarter earnings. SCC, TEL. Et. Si TEL naman, ayan, we, I, it's one of my recommendations for today. So, I don't, I don't need to discuss this kay TEL. Um, AGI, ito si AGI ayaw tumigil eh, right? pataas ng pataas, sabi ko sa inyo, just ride the uptrend before, and ayan yun yung uptrend nya, sakyan nyo po yung uptrend nya there, or the MA20 if ever it collapses, but that's the best entry point for AGI, right so, nag nag sa sideways resistance nya, nag breakout sa AGI and it's bouncing on that area, so yeah that will be a good entry point for AGI uh, for traders, I don't recommend this, but for for investors, this is a good entry point for AGI. Best entry lang talaga for uh, for traders is uh, mag retrace ito, right? But I don't want to recommend those things na mga mga stocks na mga lumilipad na dito palang sa baba. Ang ganda na sana ng pasukin ni AGI dito palang sa baba, di ba? Um, next up is SMC. Ito si SMC. Gusto gusto ng mga tao, right? At this is what I said. We have an engulfing pattern here. We have a good buy signal from RSI. Let's wait for it to make a stabilization bounce. We have we're st it's starting to stabilize at 146, right? We have support that held on for two days. Antay natin yung bounce. Maybe we can check out a bounce. Pag mag nag bounce ito, that will be a good avenue to buy SMC, right? May dividends tayo, which is on the 26th. So baka bumaba ito after that eh. So yun yung yun yung inaano kay yun yung concern ko eh. But we have a support right here. Good price action. Pag nagbounce yan, we can test out that support. All right, for SMC. Test buy lang ha kasi baka bumaba pa yan. Hopefully when it goes down further, magumawa na ng divergence, that will be a good avenue to average down. Test buy lang para may pang-average down kay if ever it fails. But napakaganda po niya na well na sa baba. Um, asa na to? Asa na ako? SMC, IRC, yan. Si IRC, maraming natatanong about IRC. Somehow, it's, um, it's been doing a downtrend, eh. Lower highs. We're seeing lower highs. Pababa yung, uh, pababa yung lows niya lately. Right, so, but overall, we have a very solid support right here for, uh, IRC. This is the best avenue to lo to wait for IRC. Abangan nyo po si IRC dito sa 2.02 kay IRC baka bumaba pa yan right especially now na pa year end na um, but investor naman ang gusto kong gawin ninyo dito right i, I recommend IRC for investing so for investing yes this is a good avenue to average down pag nag pag bumaba yan um, price action wise for traders ang hirap sabihin din eh, nagki-clip sa lower Bollinger Bands uh, usually red flag sa akin ito eh pag uh, pag tinatouch niya yung lower Bollinger Bands eh right but we're we're seeing a downturn right now so konti ingat muna kay RRC especially especially sa traders um but if you're going to ask me if IRC is going to go up yes it will right in the in the future it should because ang ganda ng project nila ang laki ng project na yan PIP good volume lately nag retrace lang back down to its support guys look at this uh, we have a divergence, no, not really divergence, but unti-unti na umaakit yung presyo niya. Right, there it is. Paakit na yung presyo. RSI is starting to go up already. This is a good support you wanna test for PIP. Yes, maganda naman ito. Ang concern ko lang is ito, negative 131, uh, negative sa 
third quarter, laki, laki na negative sa second quarter. So, I really don't like these kinds of positions sa mga companies. There's a very good divergence here. At this point, to that point, kaso nga lang, it should be reset because of these numbers. Strongly do not recommend uh, uh, PIP. Baka mangyari din ito. Nag sideways, tas bumagsak na naman. Nag sideways na naman si PIP. Baka bumagsak na naman. Ang pangit na numbers ni PIP lately. So, I really don't want to recommend it. Um, mga traders, you ca- you wanna check if you wanna check PIP out, check out it, uh, check it out at support. Right? Antayin nyo po yung uh, uh, pwede nyo i-test itong support na ito kay PIP. Baka umakit din eh. Diba? Mura na rin si PIP overall. Ang ganda na ng presyo na yan. From 4 pesos, naging piso na lang si PIP. So, maybe, maybe it's gonna go up. It's just against my bias lang talaga. So, yan. but price action wise, maganda din mo yung price action yung market ni RSI ni um, PIP, FLI FLI Yan, si FLI We have a solid support right here Pwede nyo po abangan si FLI Dito sa support na ito Napaka solid ng support na ito Hindi ko nga lang alam kailan ito gagalaw Si FLI Nagsistart na siya eh, right? It's starting to clip the upper Bollinger Bands Kaso nga lang bumalik na naman sa baba So this is a very good support for FLI Test this out Right? Para pag lumipad din si FLI, ang ganda naman ng numbers niyan. You are already at a good position. Right? Maganda naman yung position ni FLI. And it's a good company. That should be the bottom, in my opinion. Ang gan- uh, solid na ng support niyan. Look at the divergence of that support. Ang ganda ng divergence niyan. So, FLI, yeah. You can test that FLI. I just can't assure you when is it gonna move. But FLI is good. Didi, eto. Linagay ko sa lista to, ko to kanina. Right? Look at that, MA20 bounce for uh, DD overall. Napakaganda ng position ni DD. Uh, it was giving us a divergence before. And there it is, good so solid support for DD. But then yun lang simulan mag uh, magpuesto nito kay DD. I don't think it's gonna go up right away. Kasi wala ito eh, ball and Japan trigger sa taas. Right? Ito yung inaano ko eh. Ito yung tinitingnan ko eh. So, these are usually, um, these are usually good signals. Kasi nga lang medyo mataas na yung risk for me. Right? So, negative 4 na sa MA20. If it goes near MA20 and bounces, that will be your best entry point for DD. Um, I think paakit na to si DD. Nagta-trigger na siya sa upper Bollinger Bands lately. So, I think paakit na ito. Really. Right? I just want you to wait for the MA20 or if it does a breakout, pwede nyo pong, pwede po kayo maging aggressive and enter the breakout for DD. Right? Kaya tinanggal ko si DD kasi shaky yung position. I really want it to have a good base before uh, before I wanna get in and recommend it. So the best base is the MA20 or the breakout. So antayin na lang natin yan. Fgen naman, masyado mataas na po si Fgen. We're seeing a diver- bearish divergence here. Okay, Fgen, pataas ang presyo. But the RSI is already going down. So that's sell signal. That's weakness for me. So... Benta nyo po, po yan. Alright? Magsalaf na po kayo for FGEN. Those are weaknesses we are seeing for FGEN already. So, ingat kay FGEN. Ali. Alright, it's 9.05. Alright. Uh, na- Ali. Ayan. Si Ali. MA20 bounces. Look at that. MA20 bounce. MA20 bounce. Huwag nyo po yung yung tops ni Ali. Ito po yung tignan ninyo. Uptrend line. Get in the uptrend line as much as you can. You can use a breakout strategy if you want to. But for me, that's being aggressive. Malapit na po tayo sa resistance. Right? That's too aggressive for me. Best entry is pullbacks. Either MA20 or this uptrend line. Right? Right there. Right? So that's the best entry point for Ali. And abangan nyo po yan dyan sa baba. As much as possible sa baba po kayo pumasok. SMPH. Right? SMPH. May nagtanong kanina about SMPH. Look at that. Uh, very good volume lately for SMPH. 33 yung support niya. Naging 35 na siya ngayon. Let's just wait for SMPH to retrace again before we wanna get in SMPH. Nasa gitna na po tayo ng support and resistance. So, that's already bad. Uh, what do you call this? Bad uh, risk to reward ratio. So, I don't wanna recommend SMPH anymore. Ayan, SMPH. Bloom. Ayan, ang spelling tuloy na bloom tuloy. Bloom. <laughs> it's a bloom. Medyo mataas na si bloom, right? Best entry points here, MA20, right? Um, ganda na divergence dito ni, SM, ni bloom. Eh. Look at this divergence right here. Pababa ang presyo. RSI is going up. 
that was the best the what was the best entry point where we're given this ascending triangle we discuss about this ascending triangle at the bottom those are usually very good moves and there it is best entry point right now wag na po habulin yan wait for the retracement before you wanna get in nasa taas na po na tayo na RSI right iwasan niyo na po yan si bloom antayin niyo po yung next entry point ni bloom before you wanna get in Next up, okay, Bloom is MRC. MRC, we talked about MRC already. Uh, did we? Right, sabihin ko sa inyo, MRC, just be an investor in this company. Hirap po, saluin yan. Right, for traders, yeah, you can get in this uptrend line. That's the best entry point. But for investors, yes, you can be just get in. If ever it goes down, just buy more. Right, wag nyo lang malaking pera ilalagay dyan. Right, but MRC has been unstoppable. Very slow movement, but overall, ang laki na ng gain na po yan. 50% na from this bottom point for MRC. Ang hirap saluin kasi ang bagal ng, ang, ang liit ng galaw niya, but overall, it was going up. Right? So, galing na mga sumalo dito kay MRC. This higher low right here. So, that was the best entry point for MRC. Just be an investor in MRC. It's a good company. B Corp. Yes, B Core naman, unstoppable din. B Core, RSI, masyado mataas na. Right? It, we did discuss about B Core before. Pasabi ko sa inyo, just keep buying more. Magbodega kayo dito sa baba. And, <laughs> na-bloom ko. Right? Ngayon nag-message sa akin eh. <laughs> na-bloom. Right, um, B Core. Ayan, mataas na po yan. Huwag nyo na po habulin yan. Huwag po kayo mafofomo dyan. Right, your next entry point is gonna come. Just wait for it to go down. Like, same here, dito. Antayin nyo po dito sa baba. Right, our entry point did come right here. Right now, mataas na po yan. Stay away from B Core already. SCC, we talked about SCC already. Alco, and may tanong about Alco. Same with Alco, masyado mataas na po yan. We were given a buy signal kay Alco dito. Ang daming buy signal dito. Wait for the retracement of Alco. Wag na wag, na po, wag, na wag po kayo maiingit sa mga ganyan. Right, pure gold. Again, when people are celebrating... That's a sell signal. Hindi po buy signal yan pag nagsa-celebrate na ang mga tao. Right? Mamaya na po kayo mag-buy if malungkot na ang mga tao. Right? Sabi nga nila is, ano eh, uh, be greedy when everyone is fearful. Pag natatakot ang mga tao, antay nyo mawala yung takot, mag-stabilize, and then that is your entry point. Right? Be greedy when everyone is fearful. Yeah, be fearful when everyone is greedy. Yung mga tao, bili ng bili, be fearful for that just those are sell signals right pure gold naman eto si pure gold uh, i was planning to put it on the recommendations today kasi ang ganda ng support ni pure gold ang ganda ng risk to cut the bollinger band very constricted right napakalit po ng risk ninyo the, the current price is just negative one percent from the support right bollinger band is very constricted pwede nyo na pong positionan yung support na yan napakaganda po ng support na yan for pure gold this is this company's doing been doing well third quarter earnings are positive second quarter very big positive first quarter positive very consistent company look at that annual report positive rent last year so ang ganda ng movement ng kompanya ni pure gold aso nga lang yun um mabagal lang gumalaw eh but here we have a good price action very good uh risk napakalit po ng risk natin kay pure gold pwede niyo pong pasukin yan MPI, right? Si MPI naman, good price action for MPI kaso nga lang massive pullback pe. Right? Antayin niyo po yung green kay MPI. I think green naman dapat 'to eh, nag-open nang mataas eh. So this is good price action for MPI. Baka mag-green yan si MPI that will be your entry point. Right now, I don't want to recommend it yet for MPI. Meg, ang ganda po ng bottom na yan kay MPI. Right? Ang ganda ng bottom na yan. Right? Si Meg naman, nagsa sideways na si Meg. Right, we're hitting a solid resistance right here. It did attempt to break out kasi nga lang nag-fail. Uh, but overall, may gusto na uptrend. Right? Antayin nyo po yung breakout. And then, if the breakout sustains, that will be your entry point for Meg. Ang hirap po ng position niya ngayon. Nahihirapan siya because of the resistance that it's hitting. Ang lapit po natin sa resistance. So, I don't want you to chase that anymore. Antayin nyo po yung breakout ni Meg before you wanna get in Meg. Right? Next up kay Meg, it's 9-11. Um, asa na? AC. Yan, si Ayala Corp. Daming mga gandang companies, guys. As, as much as possible, dito kayo pumasok. Like Ayala Corp. Now, these are the good positions right here. Napaka-solid ng support area na yan. And Ayala Corp is nearing that. We have a new support for Ayala Corp. Uy, si Ayala Corp. It's at support. Very good price for Ayala Corp. Guys, this, is, this should be the 
entries you should be looking for. Right, Ayala Corp. I'm adding Ayala Corp on my recommendations for today. AC. Yan. Ang ganda po ng position na yan. Right, pasukan niyo po yan for Ayala Corp. Uh, very good. Sa nagtanong kay Ayala, Ayala Corp. Very good find. I love these kinds of positions. Nasa baba for a very good company. Why in the world not get in? Diba? Yes, mabagal ang galaw. But, hindi naman yun yung ano natin. Hindi eh. naman yun yung goal natin sa stock market. Eh. We look for good positions for good companies. And then we get in. Especially tayo na mga malilit na players. We are in it for the gains, not for the fast gains. Right? Yung fast gains na yan, pag malaki pera ninyo, dali lang yan. Or for isang million ilagay nyo dito. 1% yan is 10,000 pesos already. Pwede naman yan. Right? Don't be greedy about the gains. Practice looking for these kinds of positions. Ito po dapat ang mga pinapasok ninyo. AC. Right? B Core. We talked about B Core already. Si X. We talked about X. Ayan. Si X. Masyado mataas na po yan. Huwag niyo po habulin yung X ninyo. Hiniwala, hiniwala yan na kayo niyan. Hindi kayo mahal niyan. Right? Wait for the retracement before you wanna get in. Very good volume for X. Baka magtuloy-tuloy nga yan eh. Right? But, I'm, my audience is, I recommend you guys be a position trader. And this is out of position already. Right? It can still go up. Sa mga intraday traders, there is opportunity in this. This can still go up. Ilang beses nangyayari yan. There's opportunity in this. But if you're not um, uh, if you're not a, what they call this, if you're not a momentum trader, hindi naman kay intraday trader, you have no business here. Right? If position trader kayo, this right here, itong uptrend line na ito, itong MA20 is the best position, antayin nyo po na dumating dyan si X. Right, antayin, kayo, antayin nyo na balikan kayo ni X before you wanna get in Alco, we talked about Alco already Fen, ito si Fen Fen Taas na ni Fen <laughs> Right, MA20 Dito, this was the best entry point Ganda na volume ni Fen eh right, Anong meron kay Fen? Bakit ang lakas ng volume niya? Right, negative Neg laki naman ng negative niya sa third quarter not really sure what, what is up with Fen but that is already out of position right there guys uh, resistance um, pwede naman breakout strategy dito right here but I really want you to get in near a base as much as you can get in near this support or wait for the retracement lang talaga for Fen baka mag retrace yan at mag bounce around that area that will be your entry point for Fen right now no, it's not a good position to get in Fen. JFC naman, may nagtatanong about JFC. You did recommend JFC a few days back. Nung nasa Mindanao ako. Right? And umaangat na si JFC. Ayan. I don't want you to chase that anymore. Right? Huwag nyo na po ha. Bulin yan unless you are an investor for JFC. Ayan. 300 na ulit si JFC. Ang ganda na ng presyo ni JFC. Napabenta ako dito kasi... Nung may nag nilabas na news ni ano ni Paulo Duterte, hindi ko binasa kasi naloko ako, nag-sell half ako. Ha ha, ito si Paulo Duterte, naloko ako. Kalokohan lang pala yung pinost niya. Right. So, yun. Um that was my bad because I did not read it properly. <laughs> uh, but now, um nagsisisi ako bakit ko binenta. But anyways, I'm just going to be buying JFC later in the following days if ever mag retest ulit sa uptrend line si JFC if ever JFC touches the uptrend line niya na naman ngayon that will be my entry point right now wag niyo na po sa uh, wag niyo po pasukin si Jollibee right nasyado mahal na po yan 305 pesos sarap na mga nakabili dito I did recommend Jollibee here and here yan so the Jollibee holders are already enjoying their gains good job sa mga Jollibee holders Huwag niyo po habulin yan. Antayin niyo po yung retracement niyan. Meg. Well, we talked about Meg already. Um, GMA7. We talked about that already. Si Jerry. Ito. Jerry. Uy. MA20 bounce for Jerry. Alright. This is looking good. Kaso nga lang we're seeing. Ayan. Um, good earnings. Yes. That's the reason why I recommended Jerry here. Dito sa baba. And then we're seeing this move right here for Jerry. You can test out the MA20. Right. Testing niyo po MA20. If it breaks MA20, cut loss around negative 3 below that MA20 for Jerry. Right? That is the retracements we are looking for for Jerry. Sorry, excuse me. Yeah, test out the support for Jerry. Testing nyo po yung support na yan. Ganda na yan ni Jerry. Next, Vita. X, eto si Vita. Right? Vita. Yeah, nag-break out si Vita. Good job sa mga holders kay Vita. Again, the best entry points are here and near MA20. 
right? Mataas na po yan. Good volume for Vita yesterday. It can go up still, but the thing is, it can go down. Antay nyo po yung retracement ni Vita before you wanna get in Vita. Again, wag po kayong ma- greedy right this is an uptrend we do have a sideways uh we do have a sideways um uh what they call this resistance here but remember resistance i mean a trend has a direction yung support and resistance pag uptrend yung support and resistance paakyat then right here at the support niya resistance is gonna go up also right so we're already near resistance this is the best entry point ito uptrend line na ito for vita antay nyo po sa baba good volume so good job sa mga holders sa vita I think this is your moment. Pocket na yan. Next up is SSI. We talked about SSI. IMI. Ito si IMI. Alright. Did recommend IMI on this divergence right here. Alright. Ang ganda ng divergence na yan. And then there's the bounce. Did recommend it here. Pocket na yung RSI niya oh. But uh, look at this. The prices are going down. RSI is going up. Again. Uh, uulit-ulitin ko po yan para pumasok po sa mga kokote ninyo itong te te um, technical analysis na ito huwag nyo pong papasukin ang stock na umaakit na right? umaakit na po yan, ganda na ng volume this was the best entry point pullback, MA20 good bounce, antay nyo po ulit sa MA20 before you wanna get in again, IMI huwag nyo na po hahabulin yan, mataas na right so IMI wait for the retracement si Tugs naman eto nasulat ko kanina si Tugs because um, good support na si Tugs we have a good support for Tugs right here nagbabounce na siya sa support na yan but I really want Tugs to really break out this uh, downtrend muna before I really wanna recommend Tugs right? but I think it's gonna break out Tugs is a good company overall uh, just for confirmation wait for it to do a breakout or you can test out the support. Get in near the support as much as you can. For tugs. X sec B. Ito si sec B. Medyo mataas na si sec B. Eh, kaya hindi ko nare-record siya. Ay, bumaba pala si sec B. Ayan. We have a good bounce for sec B. I don't have any basis of support kasi kay sec B. Kaya hindi ko muna siya nare-recommend. But overall, sec B is still very cheap. Right? Napakamura pa rin po niyan ni sec B. Na-break niya po yung support niya dati. Right? This is the support. So it's been breaking the support. So I really can't, uh, I really can't um, recommend Sekbi as of the moment. Bumalik sa support na yun eh. Hopefully we have a confirmation of that support in the future. Right now it's shaky, so I really don't want to recommend it yet. I need more price action d data from S uh, from Sekbi before I really want to recommend it. SMC we talked about SMC already. IDC, ato si IDC. Right, IDC. Oi, may support sa si IDC guys. Alright, this is a good support for IDC. Nagsa sideways siya. This is a good entry point for IDC. So nga lang, lapit niyo sa resistance. So I think IDC is gonna be constricting the Bollinger Bands. This is a good support for IDC. Dito sa baba, pwede niyo po itest by yan. And just can't tell when yan gagalaw. But be there before gumalaw yan. Kasi pag buo malaw yan, baka lumipad again. Alright, uy, eto, at ATN. Very good support for ATN. 1, 2, 3. Kaso nga lang, we have lower highs. So, konti ingat dyan. Let's say it for a green before we wanna get in ATN, right? And maganda pa rin sa si ATN overall as a company, right? Look for ATN for long term, right? Ang ganda ng business model ng ATN. So, yun. Um, That's it for the list, right? How about ABSP and F? Uh, ABSP and AP. Ito sa AP. Tignan natin sa AP. For Michael Cayetano, right? Um... Si Aba, nagdadalawang isip na ako kay Aba, masyado mataas na si Aba eh. I'm just I'm I'm even thinking of selling Aba, pero I could be wrong, right? We'll talk about that in a while. Si AP naman, ayun, we have good price action for AP. Uh baka bumalik sa MA20 eh. Best, best entry point for AP will be this MA20 right here. Ilan beses din bumabalik sa AP, so abangan niyo po sa MA20 yan sa AP. Si Aba I don't want to recommend ABBA because nasa taas na po yan. Gumagawa siya ng support. It's now at MA20 but Bollinger Band is starting to constrict. So, it's telling us na mag so stabilize yan. I could be wrong. I already sold half at this level right here. We did discuss about the selling of ABBA. Right? Line, ito. Pababa ang pre uh, sideways ang presyo. RSI is already going down. So, that's a bearish signal. But somehow, nagre-recover naman si ABBA. So, dapat nakapag-sell half na po kayo. Right? Right now, I can't tell if ABBA is going to go up, but that's the thing about the stock market. You don't really know if it's going to go up or down. So, the challenge here now is for the buyers who hindi pa nakakabili. This is the best entry point, the MA20. What if it holds the MA20 at magtuloy-tuloy na naman ang pag-akyat? 
baka maging tulad ni Ani yan ang ganda ng mga numbers eh, ito, third quarter numbers ni Aba nga pala ang pangit but yan, yeah, ganda ng balita kasi kay Abe I don't wanna recommend Aba anymore right? masyadong mataas na siya for me so yeah, just to get that out huwag nyo na pong papasukin si Aba uh, pwede nyo po MA20, test it out ganda naman ng news niya eh. pero noon ko pa ito rinareko si Aba eh, dito pa sa baba eh. so I really I uh, really don't wanna ano I really don't wanna discuss uh, I don't really wanna recommend ABBA anymore kahit na may ABBA ako hindi ko po hi-hype yan right um, now corporation did recommend now yesterday and umaakyat na siya still good right andyan pa rin yung support ni now pwede nyo pa rin pasukin right? si PLC naman yung nagtatamang about uh, um, dito right PLC uh Somehow, it's still retracing pa. Right? I mean, nagko-consolidate pa. Um, wait na lang natin si PLC mag-near sa MA20 before we wanna get Randy. Uh, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year to all. Let's get rich together. MPI, sir, we talked about MPI already. Si FB, tingnan natin si FB. MPI, we talked about that already. Yeah, nantin lang natin yung green MPI before we wanna get in. But overall, that's a very good price for MPI. Magbodega na po kayo habang dito sa baba pa yan si MPI. Huwag niyo po sasayangin. I'm recommending MPI for long term, right? Uh, <laughs> Janeline, I love you po. Uh, I love you guys too. Alright, long term po. Ako kay ATN. I'm planning to sell it na. Buti na lang sabi mo magandang company yun sa long term. Ingat po. Right, ATN is a good company for long term. Definitely for long term. FB naman, nagtatrigger pa sa lower Bollinger Band. So, uh, iwas lang muna kay FB. Right? I don't wanna recommend that yet. Right? So, Jeric, right, ingat lang muna. Um, it's 9.23. Siguro tingnan ko lang dito. Sino hindi po, ako pa nababasa. LR. Sir, kapag sinabi bang test buy, half lang ba ng target ng bilhin na share? Yes, half. If magaling na kayo, I recommend if ever, kaya nyo pong i-divide into three. Mas maganda if tatlo. At if 100k ang budget ninyo, you can divide it into three. Pero kung 50k lang to 30k, yeah, 50-50 lang. Pwede na 50-50 yan. LR naman, yeah, it's consolidating. Uy, malapit na sa MA20. Antay natin yung bounce ni LR before we wanna get in LR. Right, malapit na. Malapit na yung bounce ni LR. Right, naabangan ko rin yan. Right, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Any schedule for seminar in Iloilo? Hopefully next year. Magpa-plano po ako dyan. Sir, ang pogi niyo po from Paolo. Ano ba yan? Umupo. It's not about the face. Right, kaya, hindi pa, wala pa nga ligo ito eh. Walk up like this. Right? <laughs> It's not about the face. Right, I don't really care about how I look. Ang gusto ko lang po is matuto tayong lahat. Right, again, it's 9.25. And sa mga newbies, yan. Uh, gusto ko po sabihin sa inyo, is in the stock market it's not about catching everything and trying to win it all right it's about really being in the position i want you guys to be a position trader being the posi- at the position where kung dadapuan kayo na swerte you're gonna win big but very low risk para kung hindi man yan dapuan ng swerte maliit lang ang talo ninyo right wag na wag po kayo maghahabol sa mga lumilipad na na stocks trading is not for that yet If mag-ahabol kayo sa mga lumilipad na na stocks, pagpeperahan lang kayo sa mga magagaling sa stock market. Ang gusto ko po na maging magaling kayo. Yung mga magagaling na yan, nakapwesto na yan sa baba. Right? And I want you to follow what they're doing. Pumwesto po kayo sa baba. Huwag po yung nasa taas. Right? That's it for today. I'll see you again tomorrow. Um, not really sure ano pa itatopic ko bukas. Siguro magre-review lang tayo. Right? We'll talk more about this. Uh, I'm gonna look for a good lesson for you guys. Pambawi ko po sa inyo tomorrow. Right? Hi sir, ano pong gamit yung chart? This is chart uh, PSE tools, right? PSE.tools. Uh, I forgot the website. And p- chart.pse.tools po ang gamit ko na charting, right? So scobarbs 777, you're I'm your new fan. Thank you so much, right? Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Thanks po na marami. Merry Christmas to all. HDB please, right? Right and As that's it for today. If ever you have any further questions, join our chat room. And this is our chat room. This is called Discord, not the Billionaires Club. Right? Download Discord and then down at the video, uh, down at the video description, meron po yung uh, invitation link ng Discord. Jan po sa sagutin ko po yung kayo habang nagtetrade po ako. Right? That's it for today. As always, let's get rich together. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.